Why is diversity important in clinical trials? There are many safety guidelines, informed consent requirements, and ethical considerations that are designed to help make clinical trials safe for participants. Representing different populations. It's important to have people of many different ages, genders, races, and ethnicities participate in clinical trials so the healthcare community can evaluate or test if potential new medications, called investigational drugs, will be safe and effective for all these different populations. We know now that certain medications can work differently in different groups of people. Black people and other people of color and other diverse groups may be more likely to develop certain conditions, and if the people in the clinical trials for those conditions are mostly white, we may not be getting a clear picture of how the investigational medication will work in other populations. For example, black people have higher rates of diabetes, high blood pressure, and heart disease than other groups, and are also more likely to die from certain types of cancers. Hispanic women contract cervical cancer at twice the rate of white women. And Asian American women have higher rates of certain types of cancer, tuberculosis, and hepatitis B than white women. The good news is that the Food and Drug Administration, the Department of the U.S. Health and Human Services responsible for oversight on clinical trials, is making diversity in clinical trials a priority, with tools and initiatives to raise awareness about clinical trials among diverse populations and healthcare providers. The way forward. Only when the populations that participate in clinical trials are as diverse as the populations that the investigational medications are intended to help can we be sure we're creating medicines that will help everyone that may need them. In our next video, we'll discuss some ways you can learn more about participating in clinical trials. Thank you for watching. Learn more at www.researchincludesme.com.